Now to a Fox 35 exclusive. We are hearing from a good Samaritan who tried to save the life of a hit and run victim in Lake Mary. Sadly, she later died at the hospital. Fox 35 Stephanie Buffamonte is live. And Stephanie, this man just happens to be a former paramedic. Yes, he is, and that good Samaritan lives just down the street from where this all happened. He says he heard a loud commotion and then jumped into action. I heard some tires squealing, which sounded like maybe a vehicle doing donuts. That's when Mike Donnelly rushed out of his house. And I could see a truck uh, that was obviously driving through the grass, driving recklessly. Uh, and as I ran down there, the truck drove off. Lake Mary police say the person who took off was driving a white Ford F-150. They say that driver crashed into 39-year-old Katrina Redden and killed her. Donnelly, a former paramedic, saw her lying in the grass. He says he tried to help her until first responders could get there. Make sure to stay with her, um, not knowing if the person that, that ran over her or hit her or assaulted her is coming back. He quickly banged on his neighbor's doors, yelling for someone to call 911. And the calls came in, even if many had no idea what was happening. Okay, uh, there's somebody like yelling outside of my house. Okay, what's your address? Like, dial, not, I'm saying dial 911. There's someone banging on the door. And they're yelling. They said call 911. I need uh, someone to come. Someone's trying to get into her house, I think. Donnelly found Redden over there in the grass, but police say before she was hit, witnesses heard arguments near this parking lot. Investigators say the truck hit parking signs that were over here. You could see the damage to the ground and an evidence marker on the wall over there. The Good Samaritan is now hoping to encourage others to help people in distress. We have to step up when we see somebody in need. Redden later died at the hospital. She was a mother and leaves behind four children. While Donnelly wishes he could have saved her, what's giving him some sort of peace? Knowing that she wasn't alone, uh, I, I know that's got to give some sort of comfort. I'm sorry for their loss. Now tonight, police tell me they have a person of interest and that it is someone that she knew. They also have the truck and they're sweeping it for evidence. Reporting live in Lake Mary, Stephanie Buffmonte, Fox 35 News.